Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everywhere you are in the world. Happy to you all. And this is a beautiful day the Lord has made. On behalf of the founder and general overseer, wife and team, we are glad you are here with us and welcome to Holy Ghost Deliverance in Christ Ministry International, aka Paul L. Baker Ministries. Our mission theme is Jesus Finish Work Movement. And our mission is to preach to all nations about the good news, which is Christ Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. Indoors and outdoors meetings are our main goals for reaching the unreachable people. Church planting and making leaders is all included in the package. A place where everyone is welcome to meet God and make their supplications through Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Our monthly and weekly programs. Every first Sunday of every month, we have Holy Communion, and every Sundays we have online live stream services at 11 o'clock a.m. And Fridays, we have Holy Ghost Hour, Deliverance and Baptism with Holy Communions at 5.30 p.m. Sub-Holy Ghost Hours. You can find uh, uh, us on podcast anytime. We are open anytime, any hours. And on Sub-Holy Ghost Hours, you will find experience and practicals cost of being a disciple our offices hours are monday through friday 9 a.m to 5 o'clock p.m for now all our programs are online you can find us on facebook youtube our website and more please our followers if you are led to be a support to our mission, you can follow the link online. If you want to contact us, please contact us through the phone number plus one two five three two two nine zero five five six, and on our email address at Holy Ghost D two zero zero five at gmail dot com. Please help me welcome Paul L. Baker. And please do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. Happy Sunday and thank you all.
Amen and amen and amen. People of God, we are here again with the kingdom of our Father Yahweh and His Son's Gospel and by the power and by the help of the Holy Spirit. We are about to play a song and this song we do not have a copyright to it. As you can see on the screen, there are so many ways we should sing, dance for our God, our Father. As this year is a year of praising, singing to our dear Father, Yahweh, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. The song that we are about to play, we do not have a copyright to it. The copyright belongs to the song writer and the person behind the song and today the song title is the fragrance of fire to fire and it's done by a brother dancing oyinka stay tuned as this moment will bless us and Take us to the place of better worship. We'll be with you after the song. Praise giving to God is more important than everything. We love you. One more time. First it was fragrance. Then he turned to fire. Asha. <laughs> this is how you win your battle. Roll, let's go. Tell your neighbor, say, give me space, give me space, give me space.
desire with my mouth. I set forth into a sprinkler. Then it turned to fire. A shabbat of the capel. A paradox of the the fire. I release fire from Zion. Four days from Jerusalem. To burn everything that stumbled you down. Amen and amen and amen. People of God, we are blessed today again with another God's servant. His song is so timely and the ministry and the family wants to say thank you to our brother Donson. your ministry your song has been played here we do not have a copyright to it, but we say we love you and thank you my dear saint another sunday another moment and this sunday is very special for us that are fathers and those that are out there that are fathers in the making. After the opening prayer, I have some names and I have some compliment that I will send out to fathers that are out there and I would play a song for my motherland Sierra Leone the devil has been put to shame ever since so again a song a second song will be played from this platform let us pray our father Yahweh we thank you for who you are you first created human being in the form of man 
man was the first that you created, you already blessed him, that he is going to be called the father. As today, worldwide, we are celebrating Father's Days. We thank you for you taught to yourself and you created this universe. You created your might, your strength, your effectiveness, your grace that is called Planet Earth. This moment we want to say we love you and we want to say love to all fathers that are out there. Whatever manipulations, whatever contrary spirit that is ruling in nations and those that are fathers of nations, those that are male figures that are head of nations, we want to take this moment to say, may your love, may your mercy, may your forgiveness, may your mercy that is in your sons, Jesus, and your power that is in the Holy Spirit to reign in them. This Sunday is a wonderful Sunday, and we say thank you to nations. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, it is well. My dear, wonderful people, another moment, another hour, another day that the good God has made. We are moving forward gradually, slow but sure. Those of you that believe in the timing of Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit have already seen where God is taking this session to, this planet out to. So at this time, happy Father's Day to all those that are out there, most especially we're starting with our biological fathers. They are very special people. If you are a grown child that are out there today, you started somewhere. I want to take this moment. Our biological fathers, one is in heaven, that is my wife, and mine is still around the corner. And uh, I want to say praise Alon Baker. Your labor, your seed, Paul Lona Baker is saying happy Father's Day to you. You have always been my hero. Your words you spoke to us when we were a child, it looks to us very bitter because your prayer was always, you rather want God to visit you in the evening or in the time that everybody is about to go to bed. We were young, you were saying these things we didn't know. And you said you rather God to visit you, to bless you in your old age. And your words has came to pass and you are still alive. And God bless you with one of his servants your seed is here to promote the kingdom of God and to bring shame to the kingdom of darkness. So your words that you were saying to us when we were a child, we never understood. But now God has used me and I began to read scriptures and I understand that God normally visits people that he loves 
in the coolest of the day. And the Bible says when the sun goes down, that is the time God visit Adam and his wife. So on even when they fall at sin, God still visit them in the coolest of the day. So you were speaking those in parables. I grew up now as a child. I began to understand that the time that God visited his people in the dawn time and all those men and women, God visited them in their old age. It is biblical. You be my hero and you are always my hero. I want to take this moment to say thank you to the channel that God used to bring me to this foreign land. Spirit of Life Ministry in Florida, which is Apostle Jonah Clark, the head of that ministry. We say we love you and happy Father's Day. I want to take this moment to say happy Father's Day to God's General Jonathan Achibokol. You are special and happy Father's Day. And I want to take this moment, the ministry that picked me up, the ministry that allowed me to exercise what God placed in me, Berean Evangelical Ministry with the founder and the leader, Joseph Saido Bangra, God's General, Happy Father's Day to you. And I want to take this moment, a ministry that I contacted by a family member here that believe in the vision that God has placed in me and went with me to Sierra Leone to partner and we were my first open big crusade that is Victory Christian Church by the lead by the founder in Phoenix, Arizona. God's general, mostly Obanga. Happy Father's Day to you. And I want to take this moment to say Happy Father's Day to the first gentle father of Sierra Leone, His Excellency Julius Madabio. You are in that nation, you are the first father, you are the first president. You are the president of this century that this ministry is projecting, calling publicly. Happy Father's Day to you. There are so many presidents that came and gone, but this is the first time that this ministry is giving a special publicly lively to you. God bless you. Do not take it for granted. God place you there and God is expecting you to do, to guide, to protect his people in a godly way. It might look difficult to you. It might look challenging to you. It might look intimidating to you. But when you put your trust in God, God will see you through. There is no leadership when you put your trust in God and allow that God is the one that is head of all leaders and most especially after my country there is no country that will take the place of United States of America in me the vision that God placed in me is being manifested in this nation irrespective of the challenges and the trials the persecution is all part of my package. I want to take this moment to say the first father of this nation, the president, Joseph or Joe Biden, happy Father's Day to you. After God, you are the one that God will see. Anything goes wrong, God always visit the leader first and he move. Happy Father's Day to you. My dear people, we want to take this moment to play a song for Sierra Leone. 
Sierra Leone is very small. There is an wave that the kingdom of darkness always want to bring chaos in that small country. So there is a song that I'm going to play before we move further. So all my dear listeners, please allow yourself as this example that is centered into Sierra Leone, God can use one nation that other nations should learn from them. Sierra Leone has gone through a lot, but people are still not learned by what that nation has gone through. And after that, please, the opposition leaders of Sierra Leone, most especially the greatest opposition, I believe in opposition. You guys use this song to put your house in order. When we are talking about democracy, if there is no constructive opposition, that country is not practicing democracy. Yes, we are introduced with democracy by Western powers, but we should learn from our own belief and traditions and say, okay, let us walk this democracy in the name of peace and the fear of God. Even if Satan is telling you to do contrary thing, Satan is very constructive in opposition. And I like the way he is constructive because Satan is helping us to move close to God. So some of you that are opposition leaders, it's time for you to put your house in order that very constructive opposition should rule in country that believe in democracy. You guys are great, but you are allowing too many fractions, distractions, that constructively you guys are not. Yes, we have so many prostitute politicians in that country that they are not contented. I'm not admiring them. And you that are in positions that are in leading government, be careful with prostitute politicians that are not content, that they are not content with oppositions. All the behind the scene conflict, they are the one because they want to eat too side. They are all corrupt politicians. APC, put your house in order and allow peace to reign in that nation. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, there is no opposition that will last forever. If only you guys are very constructive, Sierra Leone will be a peace of all nations. We love you. Allow this rebuke. Allow these corrections. And allow this restoration in a godly way. If nobody is rebuking you, if nobody is telling you the truth, if nobody is putting you sense in you that God hates corruptions, God hates conflict, Run away from those persons. If everybody is celebrating you, you guys are on the wrong side. Allow people to correct you and say, you guys should put your house in order. If there are prostitute corrupt politicians that are not ready to stay with you guys, when you guys are going, anarchy, suffering, enduring, run away from them and put your house in order. Let there be a constructive opposition in country that believe in democracy. For too long, we have allowed Western world to corrupt us and to suppress us, to steal our mortgages from us, and they are happy with our ups and downs that is happening in our country. Let us allow peace to reign and let them see that these people have come to their senses. No more they will allow us to use them and misuse them. Let us put Mama Salon one and let the fear of God to reign. We love you. Sarah, 
Una de tu Sarra Leone and Suna Kusha We all are one, make we live together Without peace, we don't go go before Like your neighbor, no me palava We all are one, make we live together. Without peace, we no go go before. Like you neighbor, no make palava. This alone, now no more we get. For the sake of the beginning, let we make this alone. You don't do for mama salon When they say water, you say for crop you back And inside you they give peace a chance Let we make salon Anything you do give peace a chance Let we make salon And inside you go give peace a chance Let we make salon Salon woman do ya kusha This na the time for let we make we country Come me property not on our New York Not out in the street not if na office Waiting up for we not on our New York Let we like salon Let we put them first. Live at peace inside salon. When they say water, you say for crop you back. And inside you they give peace a chance. Let we make salon. Anything you do, give peace a chance. Let we make salon. And inside you go, give peace a chance. Surround your nest when I listen to me. Surround your nest when I listen well. Learn some lessons and get some blessings. This election time, not all time for fights. Make salon, not well this country. If we live in peace, salon go go before. When they say water, you say for crop you back. And inside you day, give peace a chance. Anything you do, give peace a chance. Let we make salon, and inside you go, give peace a chance. Let we make salon. Before ya, how una they do? Back a yard, una kusha. Make salon, make we live in peace. If we make salon, better go there for we. No place like home, no place like salon. Green, white, and blue, make we raise them up. Let we make salon, let we not. 
no fue el salón. Man that we love and once you're alone. When they say water, you say for crowd you back. And it's a you day, give peace a chance. Then we make salon. Anything you do, give peace a chance. Then we make salon. And it's a you go. Amen and amen and amen. All we need is peace. We thank you for all the artists that came together and the man behind the song, the ministry and the entire family say thank you. Back to the ministry, to the ministration now proper. Power of beliefs and faith. And it's very timely that we are dealing with power. As we said the other day, sweet Holy Spirit, this is your moment. This is your hour. Take all the praise. Take all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. We are still dealing with and uh, believe and faith as last Sunday we dealt with another great faith and belief character that God mercy his love was in him his testimony alone will make you run to God and believe that God if only you can use this vessel and believe that me too irrespective of all my characters you can still use me for your glory so and uh, we are almost finishing today on the Acts of the Apostles and today we have a long reading that is taken from the last chapter of Acts 28, which is the last book of Acts, and is reading it from verse 1 to 10. You will hear in Swahili, and the rest will be read and explained in the English version. At this moment, stay blessed and we will be with you shortly. When I say fear, to some of the which I'm attend or every two me. Tulipokwisha kuokoka ndipo tulipojua ya kuwa kisiwa kile chaitwa Melita. Wenyeji wakatufanyia fadhili zisizo kuwa za kawaida. Kwa maana waliwasha moto wakatukaribisha sote kwa sababu ya mvua iliyonyesha na kwa sababu ya baridi. Paulo alipokuwa amekusanya mzigo wa kuni na kuweka motoni, nyoka akatoka kwa ajili ya ule moto, akamzongazonga mkononi. Mwenyeji, wenyeji walipomuona yule nyoka akilewalewa mkononi, wakaambiana, "Hakosi mtu huyu ni muuaji." ambaye ijapokuwa ameokoka katika bahari haki haimwachi kuishi lakini yeye akamtuku akamtukusia mkononi asipate madhara wao wakadhani ya kuwa atavimba na kuanguka chini kwa kufa 
wa kufa ghafla na wakiisha kumwangalia kumwangalia sana na kuona ya kwamba halimpati dhara lolote wakageuka wakasema kwamba yeye ni Mungu karibu na mahali pale palikuwa na mashamba ya mkuu wa kisiwa jina lake Publio mtu huyo akatukaribisha kwa moyo wa urafiki akatufanya wageni wake kwa muda wa siku tatu ikawa baba yake Publio alikuwa hawezi homa na kuhara damu Paulo akaingia kwake akaomba akaweka mkono yake juu yake na kumpoza yalipokwisha kutendeka hayo wengine waliokuwa na wagonjwa katika kisiwa wakaja wakapozwa nao wakatuheshimu kwa heshima nyingi basi tulipo karibi tulipo tulipoabiri wakatupakilia vitu vile tulivyokuwa na haja navyo amen thank you my dear amen at 28 verse 1 to 10 once we were safe on shore we learned that we were on the island of malta verse 2 the people of the island were very kind to us it was cold and rainy so they built a fire on the shore to welcome us verse 3 as paul gathered an handful of sticks and was laying them on the fire a poisonous snake driven out by the heat beat him on the hand verse 4 the people of the island saw it hanging from his hand and said to each others a murderer no doubt though he escaped the sea justice will never permit him to live verse 5 but paul shook off the snake into the fire and was on on hand verse 6 the people waited for him to swell up or suddenly drop dead but when they had waited a long time and saw that he was in harm they changed their mind and decided he was a god verse 7 near the shore where we landed was an estate belonging to Publius the chief official of the island he welcomed us and treated us kindly for 3 days verse 8 as it happened Publius father was ill with fever and dysentery paul went in and prayed for him and laid his hand on him he healed him verse 9 then all other sick people on the island came and were healed verse 10 as a result we were shown with honors and when the time came to sail people supplied us with everything we need for the trip amen and amen faith and belief so it holy spirit we thank you for who you are in life when you are always expecting something celebrating to continue to happen to you or you are expecting people to always say good thing to you you are leading to a disappointing personally 
a life, there are always tests of life, challenges. You will never grow higher a life without you experiencing stumble, difficulties. You that God wants to use you as an example that will benefit human race, mankind, there is a package that is loaded with disappointment, with crime, with accusation, with evil thought, as etc. etc. And with my 20 years experience telling you sitting here with all my journey to this present time that I'm telling you, the more I see oppositions, the more I see all roads, all everybody has turned against me, the more I go to God so quickly and trust in Him. Just as I said it earlier on, some of you, you are angry with Satan, but I am giving you a good news. Do not be angry at Satan. He is helping you to move to a place that God has ordained for you. He is very constructive here on planet Earth to oppose God's people. And he knows what he is doing. But he only sees the physical aspect and the best weapon you, the individual, that we use is to allow your moment of silence. May his soul rest in peace. My grandpa, our grandpa, which is, which happened to be my mother, sorry, my dad, mother, brother, which is Peter L. Talker. Sierra Leone knows who is Peter L. Talker. Anytime we visited him, his teaching that he gave us, he said the secret achievement of any man is to silence your mouth when your oppositions, when your accusers are fighting you. He was not a prophet, but he used that and he defeated most of his enemy while he was planet Earth. So for those of you that your mouth is too big, your mouth is too quick to be open, Satan doesn't know what is in you. And what he does, he triggers something he throws something at you. Through who? Through the very human beings that you are around. Some will come in provocative way. Some will come in accused way. Some will come in diverse ways. But in the midst of it, if you endure and swallow your silence, because all what they wanted to know, to hear is what is in your belly 
Satan doesn't see what is in your belly. Even your fellow human being doesn't know what is in you. So your silent, your quietness. Sometimes when you go to a good people and they advise you, they say, can you keep quiet and see? Don't say anything. Because when you say something, it escalates. So sometimes you have talked too much. Why can't you allow yourself to be quiet? The character that we are reading here about we didn't see, we didn't hear anything that he spoke. But he keep his mouth and take care of the actions. This was a man that became a commander. He was a prisoner of all the apostles. He was used by God to spoke safety, courage, to even the officers that were in charge of him while he was a prisoner. He said, none of you will die, but the property, the ship will perish. We all will land safely. The Bible said when they landed, people welcome him. Sometimes your destination that you want to land before you reach to that point, there is always going to be an enemy. Paul said people welcome him. Satan doesn't want people's happiness. And he hates when people are celebrating his opposition. Satan knows you very well that you are his enemy. To slow him down, to stop him, to execute his wicked agenda. God is not moved by multitude. That is why he said, Woe unto a man that will say good things about you. When Goliath was ravaging Israel and King Saul, was at the point of giving up. The Bible says when a shepherd boy, a common man came and inquired, he first reached inquired to his older brothers. They bastardized him. They said, get out of here. What you know about war? Are you trained army? Why can't you go and take care of those few sheep that our dad has kept you to be in charge of? He didn't argue. He just left them and went to a place and he got his inquirement. And he said, who is this defy? Who is this dog? Who is this little rat to defy God's people? So David was confident, was bold enough to bring sanity. It doesn't matter your volume. It doesn't matter who is cheering you. It doesn't matter who is for you. When God wants to move nations, when God wants to do mighty things, it takes one person. Mm -hmm. Moses was a wanted man, but Moses... When God time came that he wants his people to go back to their nation, to their final destinations. For those of you that you have taken your country that is useless, it's not important. There is no foreign country that you are. That foreign country didn't know you. He knew you because you came somewhere. He knew you when they want to trace your record. Your record is not going to trace 
perfectly in that foreign land that you are, your place of birth, where you came from. Some of you, your country's favor, your nation's favor has brought you to a foreign land and you are allowing pride, wickedness, envy, jealousy to turn your back against your nations. The Bible say it's a poisonous snake hang on Paul and he didn't just hang on him he bite him. And that was a poisonous snake that the people of the island knew that this snake is so poisonous that when he bites somebody in the trickle of an you swell and die. I don't know what is fighting you. Or I don't know what you are fighting with. Where is your belief? Where is your faith? Are you being moved by what you see or what is around you? The Bible said, Paul, the people looked at him and they already judged him. They said, indeed, he's a murderer. Oh, Shantariaba. He came on the island as a savior, Shantariaba. He came as a celebrity everybody was thanking him that we are in that shape the people even the officers we are now celebrating paul but in the twinkle at that moment everything turned around just because of a snake that hung on him and the snake bite him but when your power that is in you is built on your belief and your faith it doesn't matter what comes at you. It doesn't matter what they throw at you. It doesn't matter who challenge you. It doesn't matter who is fighting you. But when your hope, your trust, your belief is in God, Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. This was not a lion that bite Paul. This was not a tiger that attacked him, but the very snake. Satan showed up again. When God said, he said, the snake will fight, but you will destroy him. I don't know how many snake is biting you, or I don't know how many snake that is fighting you. The Bible say all the enemies say, Oh, this man indeed he escaped sea, but he will not escape this one. Sometimes I don't know, it's very shameful sometimes in the physical aspect. All of you will go for an interview. And they will take everybody and you are left alone. I don't know if you have reached to that point. I want to announce to you, God knew why it didn't happen to you. I don't want you to see yourself that you are left behind. The Bible said Paul just shook off the snake and the snake fell down and the people we are looking at him after they have already judged him after they have already castigated him after they have already labored him after they have already profiled him the bible said they waited one hour passed two hour passed three hour passed and they turn, the Bible said they change their mentality. And they said, This man is a God. 
Satan knows what he has thrown at you. His witches, his demons, his agents, they know what they have thrown at you. They know what they have done to you. But when your belief is in God and you have exercised your faith and they have seen you alive, that is going to change the whole story and they will believe in your God. The Bible says, snake, they didn't just fell down. Paul, they didn't just, they waited for him to die. His celebration rose up again. He started ministering. He started bringing the healing of Jesus. The richest man in the island was dying, sick, dysentery, cholera, vomiting, you name it, fever. The Bible said Paul prayed and the man got healed and the whole town brought sick and the Bible said he healed them all. They personalized it because they were not speaking in the divinity language. They say Paul healed them. But the power that Paul believed in, which is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, he exercised his faith. And he brought all the sickness in that island, and they were all healed. Do not take vengeance for vengeance. Oh yes, according to Moses' law, people ask Jesus, when somebody slap you, slap that person back. And Jesus said, no, it is not so. He said, when they slap this side, he said, turn the other side, let them slap. The more the reason they were against Jesus. Because Jesus was not bringing revenge. All those that have wished you to die. Not because you have committed crime. All those that are wishing you to be behind bars. Not because you have committed any criminal crime. Your only crime is not humanity, but is against Satan. That is why our enemy is Satan. Satan showed her Shantoriaba. This was Satan that showed up at Paul right away. Paul would have said, I want to believe that even those people that we are waiting, that even called him, is a murderer. One of their family members, we are all included into that heaven. So when Paul says, we are not fighting flesh and blood, but we are fighting with principalities and power, that means the human enemy is not our enemy. The human being is not our enemy. It's what is in them that is controlling them. Is what we are against. Any sinful human being here on planet Earth, you are not my enemy. My enemy is the enemy that is you yourself cannot see. The enemy that is manipulating you. The enemy that is telling you to do things beyond your human wish. Satan, his demons. They are against your life, your happiness, your destiny. I don't know who have turned against you. I don't know who you have helped. Just like Joseph, he was a prisoner. Joseph would have carried bitterness in him. Joseph would have carried anger in him. 
and refused to interpret the dreams of Pharaoh. Some of you, the very people that have hurt you, the very people that have said evil about you, or the very country that you are resided that have tormented you, that have profiled you, that have labored you, that have said all evil such about you, God is still going to use you to bring deliverance to that nation. Joseph said, to fast forward, he said, A, B, C will happen, but if you do see this, this will rescue you. And you have to find somebody to be. And Pharaoh said, with all this wisdom you have exercised, I don't think there is anybody in this of my country that we exercise and we govern. There he became for prison, a prisoner to become a prime minister. For those of you that God, you've already exercised, you've already seen that your visions, your plan is to be leader of your nations or you are not in that position yet. But something is in you. I have always seen it has come from my lip several times. Do not wait for you to be in that power before you start Manifest Shantori Haba. Joseph didn't wait until he became a prime minister or his dream manifested. But Joseph was still a prisoner and he manifested what God placed in him. Some of you, nation is going through chaos, but with all what system is bringing at you, your friendship, your spoken words will reverse the whole chaos. There is somebody you are listening to me right now. Thus says the Lord, do not wait until the time comes for you to be in that office as a president. Act, manifest, be in that position that you are be in that character that you are be in that mess that system has put you and act and bring sanity there is god's grace that is waiting upon your manifestations some of you god is delaying you God is still holding your manifestation because bitterness, grudge is still kept in you. Something has to allow. Something has to be manifested. They call Paul. This is a murderer. He escaped the sea, but he will not escape. I don't know what has turned around. I don't know how many friends have turned against you. I don't know who you have helped. Now because you are going some trials, now because everything is happening to you, everybody has turned against you. I have been into that situation and I have seen how God rescued me. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how you are. For those of you that are out there, People have hurt you. People have seen you as a dead person. People have castigated you. People have even announced you're dead. People have even arranged, bought your casket. But you are still alive because God is keeping you. God has kept you because lives, humanity, human race, God wants to spare. God wants to deliver through you as a channel. Snake, Satan attacked Paul in the physical, in public, just to bring bitterness to Paul. 
that Paul will hate the very people. Sometimes I have had names, I have had crimes that I knew not about in the mouths of people calling me names, even my own very self. Sometimes I will go and Google it. Or sometimes I will come and ask my wife, what is the meaning of this? I said, this is the name I have had people calling me. But in the midst of it, she said, let God be God. Allow them. Do not let them get you. Do not let bitterness enter you. Show love. I know you are a human being. She became a minister to me and I will follow it. Maybe you are that person. Nobody is speaking life to you today. Why can't you take an example to this? Satan showed up at Paul because he knew what was scared for Paul in that island. Some of you, what you have been waiting for God, what God has promised you, it will not happen when everything is good. Out of your bitterness, out of your rejection, out of your disappointment, there comes your celebration. There comes your manifestation. The Bible says, Paul says, after Paul ministered friendship, love, he manifested the gospel, kingdom, healing. They supply them all with food that will be enough for that journey. They lack nothing. Do not wait. People accused you. People fighting you. People wishing evil for you, against you. People have labored you. They want to get you. Because they know very well. Satan knows what he is doing. Satan knows what God says. When you have bitterness against your fellow brother or your human beings. I will not accept your gift. So Satan knows. So all what Satan will do is to put hate, envy, enemy, quarry. Just to get you. That you will see people. And hate them. You're silent. And to show love. And ask God. Forgive these people. Is what will take you. To your place. Of manifestations. The end of power of beliefs and faith. Number 49. And we have come to the end of act. Next Sunday, we are still dealing with faith and believe or believe and faith some days we will interwoven they will put combine everything and project you he wants to give your life to jesus he wants to surrender your totality why can't you take this moment and allow him to be with you and your life will never be the same. Prepare yourself as an altar call is about to make.
Amen, Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen, Amen. I don't know how you are. I don't know how you came. I have a good news for you. God is about to change your story. Why can't you use this moment to start asking God for forgiveness? I don't want to know your sin. Ask him, say, God, forgive me. Cleanse me from all my iniquity. Deliver me from all my errors. I will give you a few moments. It is why, why you have done this, raise your two hands up to heaven like this and call your full name and say, Father Yahweh, Brother Jesus, best friend Holy Ghost, I surrender my totality to you now. Take control over my life. Take control over my affairs. Take control over every situation. Let your wisdom, let your mercy, let your forgiveness. I accepted Jesus to be my Lord and my personal Savior. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, take all of me in Jesus' name. Amen. Your name has been written in the book of life. You know something? We have nothing to give you today but the Holy Spirit. Just like what the, the apostles were expecting Jesus to open, to put them in offices, to open them big luxury, but Jesus knew that all those ones will perish. But if you have power, which is the Holy Spirit, when you are blessed with all those materials, you are able to sustain them and you will not worship them and you are able to know that God is the source of blessings. The authority being invested in me. By my Father Yahweh, in the name of your Son's name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. My dear saints, at this time, at this moment, receive the oil of the Holy Ghost now. Holy Ghost is coming upon you now. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is coming upon you now. Receive Him now. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost now. Receive Holy Ghost now. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. He's coming upon you now. He's coming upon you now. Shantori hi bari hama. Shete bara bako sotori hima. Makori hi baku sete mara bako soto. Mako shete bari hi baru hama santa. Shete mara bako sete rahama. The blood of Chi. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I set you free. The blood of Jesus, 
the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus have set you free. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit has set upon you now in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, and by the authority of my Father Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, we seal this prayer, we seal this session, in Jesus' name, Amen. The love, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is upon you now. We love you. Jesus loves you. Some of you, the stream is about to end, but the Holy Ghost is still working in your life. He is forever. Stay out of trouble. Trouble is not your name. We love you. Jesus loves you. Amen. Please like, share, and subscribe. You want to be a financial blessing to this ministry? We say thank you in advance and God bless you. Bye-bye. 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 Amen.